I came across this concretion a few years ago. Um, it had fallen out of the cliff after a big flood we had and there were really, really nice bones going through the middle of it. It's Cretaceous, so it's probably some kind of marine reptile, a plesiosaur or a mosasaur. It weighed more than a ton and I had no idea how to get it out the river, so I notified the museum and just kind of put it in the too hard basket for a while. Every couple of months I'd just go see if it was okay and uh, the one day I got back to it and someone had tried to remove a really large chunk of it, damaging the bones quite badly. And this kind of spurred us into action. We had to get this out of the river in some place where it could be prepped. The longer bone there. So it's a very big rock. I think that's part of the paddle over there. Paddle bone. There were a few paddle bones exposed on this side, but I assume someone's taken it away. Um, this is the rock I'm going to try and carry back today. It's a decent size. <laughs> it's got a few bits of bones sticking out of here. Here's that piece of plesiosaur safely back at home in my garage. I actually went back and fetched that tinier piece over there even though I couldn't see any bones exposed. Uh, that fits on top here so I thought it might have a little bit of this bone in there. I've also been in touch with the landowner and the forestry company so there's a lot of pine trees over there. Um, some of them have fallen down and are actually blocking the path down to the river. So the forestry company is going to help us remove those, those pines that have fallen down and then we should be able to retrieve that really big block, which I think is about a ton. And once we have it back, then we can get it prepped and donate it to the museum. It's crazy. Coming down just to watch this. We managed to get this huge rock out of the river eventually and up to the farm where it was going to stay until we could figure out how to transport it to my workshop. Huge thanks to Chris and Dave for sorting this out. It was an immense undertaking. Here are the concretions. Just look at those beautiful bones over there. This is the one we'll take back to my workshop. Start prepping. Somehow I don't think the wagon's gonna be big enough today. I'm gonna have to call in some help.
here we are offloading this really, really large bone block at my new workshop. We couldn't get it into the, the back area, which I've got a fenced off area, so I'm going to have to move it there at some point in the future. We didn't want to take it across the roof on those chains, just in case it came loose, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure out how to get it to the back there. It was quite a journey that this bone block's been on, this concretion. Now, now the real work starts, we're going to have to prep this, and this is by far the biggest fossil I've ever tried to prep, but as Al Manning always says, just one step at a time, one day at a time. It's amazing when you just keep working and chipping away at it, literally chipping away at it, how much progress you can make in a week. Now that was a proper fossil adventure. When I found that big block in the river, I never thought we'd be able to get it out and get it into a place where we could start prepping it. And as you saw in the video, I've got a new workshop that I've got open to the public on weekends. So from nine to one on Saturdays and Sundays, you can come have a look at some of my fossils and see where I prep them. It's at the Old School Collective in Waikuku, which is about half an hour north of Christchurch. And it's open from nine to one on Saturdays and Sundays. This was definitely a team effort, so thank you so much everyone that helped with this. Uh, Al Mannering, Leela, Paul Schofield, Chris, Dave Latham, uh, Ryan from RMJ Transport Services. Everyone helped to get this fossil out of there and into a place where it will be safe. Thanks so much for joining me everyone. I feel like we leveled up again in this video. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.